During the height of World War II, Alexander Lipisch proposed the ambitious Lipisch P-13, a ramjet propelled point defense fighter featuring a sharply swept Delta flying wing with an embedded engine. The initial model, successfully flown near Vienna, demonstrated the feasibility of Lipisch's innovative design. However, Lipisch shifted focus to the P-13B with a different wing, leaving the P-13A in the hands of students seeking war-related projects to avoid conscription. In 1944, the Ackerflieg Darmstadt initiated the construction of a full-scale aerodynamic test glider based on the P-13A, designated the Darmstadt D-33. Bombing forced a move to Ackerflieg Munchen workshops, resulting in the resignation of the project as the DM-1. The glider was primarily constructed using steel tubing, plywood and bakelite impregnated plywood. Following the war and the occupation of Prinyam and Chiam Sea by US troops in May 1945, the DM-1 project continued under the auspices of the US military government, General Patton and aviation legend. Charles Lindbergh visited the project, highlighting its importance. Completed in November 1945, the DM-1 was shipped to Langley Field in Virginia for wind tunnel testing at the NACA National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The initial tests revealed poor performance, prompting a series of modifications. Notably, a strip was added along the leading edge to simulate a sharper profile, introducing vortex lift and addressing the lift issues encountered during testing. The vertical stabilizer was replaced and the cockpit canopy was repositioned for improved aerodynamics, leading to significant drag reduction. There has been speculation about the DM-1's influence on the design of conveyor delta wing jets such as the XF-92A. While conveyor engineers did examine the DM-1 and consulted with Lipisk, there is debate over the extent of Lipisk technical influence. Some historians argue that Convair independently discovered the thin delta wing, emphasizing the different aerodynamic behaviors between the DM-1 and Convair's designs. Apart from the NACA modifications, Ackerflieg Darmstadt and Munchen proposed several variants derived from the DM-1. DM-1 Lippis glider, as originally built, featuring thick wings and a large tail, although never flown. NACA glider, Modified for wind tunnel testing by NACA with added leading edge strip, a smaller thin fin, conventional cockpit and sealed eleven hinges. DM2 larger, supersonic test plane with a prone pilot, powered by a Walther liquid-fueled rocket. DM3 developed version with a pressure cabin and a more powerful Walther C engine. Subscribe to Strategic Chronicles.